Education, May 24, 2023. I have 647. And our, we're not going to do the, we'll do pledge. you want to do the pledge first? Okay. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, invisible, liberty and justice for all. All right, Ms. Knox, can you do a roll call for attendance? Ms. Berkmeyer? She's excused. Mr. Green? I am present. Mr. Richards? Here. Mr. Moses? Here. Mr. Giroux? Did we hear from Mr. Giroux? Yes, he just said he will not be here. All right. Uh, Mr. Venditelli? Here. Ms. Knox? Here. Great. I think we have a quorum. Uh, I will entertain a motion to approve the agenda for this special board meeting. So moved. I'll second. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, can we move on to a roll call for this? Uh, Mr. Green? Yes. Ms. Knox? Yes. Mr. Moses? Yes. Mr. Richards? Yes. Mr. Ventitelli? Yes. All right, we have a pretty short uh, agenda. Uh, up on our agenda is the uh, MISD biannual election. Uh, we're required to have two meetings to discuss this topic, and then ultimately in the next meeting, um, are we electing a, a designee at this meeting or in the next meeting? No. This one, you'll have your designees. And, and then we approve it at the next one? Okay. Uh, so that's the purpose for the 645 meeting. Uh, so I have in front of me, and you should have in front of you, uh, a resolution to consider the designation of electoral representative uh, for the June 5th, 2023 MISD election meeting. Uh, and the recommended action is that the board um, consider a, a designation, nominate and, and confirm a designation as well as an alternate to vote on behalf of the Anchor Bay Board of Education for that biannual election. So at this point, I will open up the floor for nominations of a board member that will attend and then also as an alternative uh, alternate in the event that the primary can't make it. I'll take it. What's I'll it? attend. I will attend. So we have uh, Dennis has nominated himself. Um, I the primary. Do we have a support? I will go ahead and support that, and I will nominate myself for his backup. Awesome. Do we have a support for the alternate as well? Yes. Awesome. So we've got uh, Mr. Richards as the primary, and then the backup in the event something happens. Miss Knox. Um, why don't we go ahead and just do a roll call vote on that, just to make it official. Okay, uh, Mr. Richards? Yes. Ms. Knox? Yes. Mr. Green? Yes. Mr. Moses? Yes. Mr. Venditelli? Yes. All right, that motion carries. The only other thing I have on here is the, the hearing of the public. I do have one submission that certainly can speak at this meeting or has the right to uh, speak at the 7 p.m., which is actually our official board meeting. Um, the last name is Boyles. I can't quite read. Is it Forrest Boyles? Did you did you want to speak now, sir? Or did you want to wait till later? It's, this is completely up to you. You're the public. You get to choose. All right. Just wanted to discuss. Thank you. A few things that were uh, discussed at last month's meeting. Um, so the reason we're here, ultimately, this board, this school district, the, the, super, the teachers, every, is for the kids. Not how much money we can spend, not how much pretty we can make it. It's, it's for the kids. We, we discussed that there's a lot of mental issues coming out from this COVID that had passed that uh, we, we, we masked the kids illegally, illegally, and that, that there, is, there is a state law against that because there was a mandate. Mandates are not laws, and we should know that. And I hope that when we get this courtroom going, we teach kids 
proper laws, who are lawmaking bodies and who are not. Secondly, we discussed, or you discussed, keeping children out without a certain grade average from extracurricular activities. No prom, no, no sporting events. Again, we're here for the children. So because a child is having a problem, we wanna take that much more away from them. Now I've been in a manage, management position for approximately 40 years. When any of my employees did something wrong, they, they didn't get the job done, they broke something, et cetera. I may not have been directly responsible, but I was held accountable for it. Now, this board is elected by the community to represent them. We govern from the bottom up. This board isn't, we, we don't elect out of the state, we don't elect out of the county, we elect out of our community because we're supposed to run our communities. So we need leaders. We don't need people that are just gonna follow the lines, toe the line, it, it, that's what we were told to do. We need leaders. I think holding these kids back is wrong, number one. Number two, I would expect a plan. How do we, how do we plan to reach these children? There was kind of a quiet comment, they don't wanna learn. Well, that's unacceptable. The teachers are making a paycheck, the superintendent's making a chip paycheck. They're supposed to report to you, you report to them and you are our representatives. We, we, we've got a full circle here. So there, it's unacceptable to just say these kids, that, that kid's a loser. We, we, we can't have that. We've got to have plan B, plan C. We're here for the kids. So, I would like to see some more discussion before any of that's voted on because um, I, I think you guys need to get together at some point and really throw that around. Um, mental issues, yeah, well, let's make some of the mental issues worse by not allowing this child to go to prom with their, with their friends or, or go to the sporting, you know, be involved in the sporting. It's wrong, guys. I, I understand you're, 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 you're trying to set a, an apple for them to reach for, but if they're not getting it, holding them back is not the right thing. Um, so I, I'm just gonna make it short. Just, just had that to say. Um, I, I, I personally, I, I haven't been, this is only my second board meeting in this district, so I, I, I can't say anything wrong about how anybody's doing their job, but remember, we need leaders and we govern from the bottom. We, we don't take direction from the state or the county. We run our own. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Boyles. Uh, that was the only uh, comment submission form that I had. So at this time we will uh, adjourn. So I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Any comments? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those Aye. opposed? The meeting is adjourned at 6.56. We will pause for four or five minutes roughly because we need to stick to our calendar and, and restart at 7 p.m. for the, uh, the actual board meeting. <laughs>